students, welcome back to your next mini music class with me. We have Mr. Isaac back with us today. It's good to be back. We learned about the saxophone last time and how cool of an instrument it is. And now I thought it would be really fun to get to make some music with Isaac and to learn a little bit more about how we, we actually play and sing jazz. So, I know that uh, you mostly play jazz in your music life. So what makes jazz unique? What makes it jazz? I think the biggest thing that makes jazz unique is that it gives room for the performer to interpret it in a special way that they think is more authentic to them. And we use tools such as improvisation and swing to create a different style of mm. performance. Oh, wow. So, just in case some students don't know, what does the word improvisation mean? Improvisation means simply making something up. So, we have talked about what we're going to film today, mm -hmm. but even this little conversation we're having right now is being improvised. We didn't sit down and write a script and memorize it. Mm -hmm. We decided that we wanted this to be a topic that we would talk about. And here we are making this video. So we're improvising. So every day you improvise, whether or not you know it. Right. If you're having a conversation with somebody, or maybe you are playing a video game or drawing a picture, all of that has elements of improvisation. So improvising means making something up as you go along. Oh, so really, in some ways, anybody can improvise. Anybody can improvise. So when it comes to improvising in music, what do you need to know? How do you even start? I think the biggest thing that you need to understand if you're going to start improvising is you need to understand what you're going to be improvising your music based off of. Okay. So if that's coming from a melody or if it's coming from chord changes, you need to know where that music is going to start. So would that mean you know a song really well before you can improvise with it? I think that you should know a song really well before you sound good improvising. Uh -huh. You could start improvising right away. It just might not sound very good. But if you know a song really well, then I think it's time to start improvising and playing around with it. Okay. So Mr. Isaac, since you have your saxophone here today, I'm wondering if you can show us how you take a song and start improvising with it. How would we do that? Well, the first thing you'd want to do is just make sure that you can play the melody really well. So let's take a song that we both know, and maybe you at home know, and that's when the saints go marching in. So what I would do with that song is I'd make sure that I know the melody really well. Okay. So I know the melody pretty well. I feel comfortable playing the melody. So maybe the first thing I would do if I was to improvise, just using the melody as my ideas, I would change it up a little bit. Maybe add some embellishments. So I might add one or two notes at a time to make it sound a little different, but still kind of the same. change little notes and you can also change the rhythms. Mm. Now I'm wondering if you could show us an example of changing a lot more and how we could make that happen. Yeah, I think that that would sound good, but I don't want to lose track of the melody. So okay. maybe could you sing it with me? Sure, I'll sing the melody and then you can do anything you want. You can improvise. Students, I wonder if you know this song. Maybe I'll sing through it once by myself and see if the students can practice it. And then maybe they could sing with us. Okay, great. All right, so here's how it goes. Oh, when the saints go marching in, 
Oh, when the saints go marching in, oh Lord, I want to be in that number. When the saints go marching in. Should we play together? Sounds great. Yeah, let's try it out. Are you ready? Let's do it. Ready, set, go. Oh, when the saints go marching in. students we might have to do some more jazz sometime in the future but until then I hope you have a really great rest of your week I'm praying for you I love each one of you and I'll see you back here soon bye bye <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.